pretty sure a lot of people viewing this are new to the channel, so definitely subscribe, hit the like button, turn on post notifications, all those good things for me. That definitely helps me a lot, shows a lot of support to me, my channel, my growth, this venture in 2022, so I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Yeah. yeah. Ziploc Domo, Domo Styles back again with another video. I know the audio might be a little crazy because it's a lot of ambience in here, but today I'm gonna be taking out these braids. Uh, shirt I'm wearing now, it's my brand, Vintage Paradise. I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out my graphic tees. You can check out my oversized hoodies. I got hats shorts all those good things so make sure you support let's get right into it all right so let's start right at the front you can go around right through it make sure you taking your time taking your hair out you know the last thing you want to do is put too much strain on it pull it apart and you know cause a lot of damage so just take your time with it and for anybody who got the same thing going on as me like you can see a lot of hair right here at the top that just sticks out that comes from me having my hair braided this way so much so uh, another part of my 2022 journey is definitely going to be me uh, just giving my hair a break in that department just so I can get back nice and full and healthy in that area. So if you're having that problem, you know, try to definitely stray away from the middle parts and things like that just so you can get your hair that time it needs to really regain the health and grow and just be back A1 like the rest of your hair. We got two down so far, six more to go. This will be my first wash of 2022. Ooh. Pretty sure everybody who has hair that's at a certain length, you really understand how time consuming managing your hair can be, you know, how frustrating it can get and I don't know, like sometimes that would be whether I want to just cut it off or not. And thought about it, considered it a few times, but in the end it's like, I don't really accomplish nothing from doing that. I grew it out, cut it so many times, and at this point it's at a nice length for me. So I just want to see how long it can grow, you know, 2022, 2023, and then maybe by like 2024, I'll really decide what I wanna do. If I wanna cut it, I don't know, I'm considering locking it at some point this year. And even with me locking it, you still got the option of combing it out. I've done that before, which was actually very successful. My hair grows a lot faster when it's locked. So that's always an option, but for right now, just gonna keep it natural, see where this journey takes us. Bow. Got it all out. do from here I'm gonna wash it I'm gonna detangle it I'm gonna condition it and then I'm gonna come back cuz I definitely want to do a separate video showing my washing process I might make it an ASMR or something like that or a voiceover or something just so you can really see that whole process 
this video is gonna pertain more so to just the before and after of me taking braids out and me doing all those things and stuff like that. So I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, I just finished washing, conditioning my hair. Uh, still a little wet, but I'm gonna take these up. So you can see me. So, I'ma uh, probably dry this off with a t-shirt. That's what I recommend for everybody, not really so much as a towel, you know. Uh, so I'ma dry this off with an old t-shirt. Mm, I'll probably just let it sit, you know, and really dry all the way out. Uh, and then I'll probably figure out what, what I'ma get done to it, but Stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, the next video is going to be a breakdown of me washing my hair and just running through everything that I use in my hair, uh, what I use to detangle my hair, what I use to comb, brush, uh, shampoo, conditioner, uh, all those different things. I'm, I'm very, I don't use a lot of products, you know, so if I do put things in my hair when I get it done. Typically it's like leave-in conditioner, stuff like that. I don't use like Eco Styler gel and all those type of things with alcohol and a bunch of different ingredients that you don't really know what they are. So hopefully within this journey in 2022, I can come across, you know, some different brands to try to have alcohol free products that are good on curly hair. So I really want to figure out my curl pattern, figure out my hair type, and figure out what products work best with it. So to the next video, make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, share, all those good things. Thank you for staying this long and supporting me in my growth journey. Till the next time, peace.